Anime Fighters is the pioneer of all anime simulator games on Roblox. It was created three years ago by developer Direb and is now updated by Boss Studios. For a game as old as Anime Fighters, how well does the game hold up in 2024? Hey yo, what up? F minus gang gang, welcome to Anime Fighter Simulator. We're gonna be talking about how good this game is in 2024. That's right, this game already been out for like, what, what has it been already? Like three years now, maybe about two and a half years? My gosh. So Anime Fighter Simulator is like one of the pioneers of simulator anime games on Roblox. You guys have probably already played the game, and if you haven't, you are in for a treat. Make sure you join the Discord server for Anime Fighters. You can find it in the description of the video. For this video though, all I'm doing is playing a brand new account from a new player's perspective to kind of see how good the game is in 2024. Now the game has updated recently, we're on update 56. Like I said, if you're a brand new player, you haven't played in a long time, I'm gonna cover all of it in the video. Update 56, it, it's a long time. You can basically tell every single update, maybe once a week, once every two weeks. And then the game took like a one year hiatus. It came back recently, like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago with the winter events. So now is probably the best time for you guys to play anime fighters if you're getting bored on roblox but yeah this is a brand new account you can see on the left side i basically have like this level one unit and then on the right side i have this unit it's uh the boss feet vid so i've already purchased all the game passes on this we got extra equip 2x yen 2x exp the goal is to try to reach the last map and also try to get the best fighters in the game all in one video. Like I said, if you haven't played anime fighters in like, let's just say a year, this is your first time watching the video, we're gonna break it all down for the video and we're gonna try to do it as fast as possible. Starting with the codes. So if you haven't redeemed the codes, use my code right now. It still works. I, I don't know why it still works, but hey, I'll take it. This code is like a year old. Sub to F minus. You will get two shiny potions. You guys know exactly what shiny potions do. They uh, make your units shiny when you hatch them. I've also used every single code in the game on this brand new account. There's like a hundred working codes. It will take you like 30 minutes. Just go to the comments. You'll find every code. And this is my inventory. We got like four damage boosts from all the codes that I use. Brand new account, four yen boosts. We have 22 super time boosts, 44 shiny potions, bro. 23 super luck boost, 21 super drop boost. Yeah, you can already tell this is going to be not only an easy experience for us, you know, restarting Anime Fighters, but you guys watching, you chilling on Anime Fighters too, you're your, you're your first time, you get all this stuff for free. Passive Luck Potion, bruh, <laughs> come on now, you get clone tokens, you get summer passive tokens, it's not even the summer event anymore, and check this out, Winter 2023 passive token so you guys can also i don't know <laughs> if this is like last year's event or this year but we are going to take a look at it you also get some passive transfer tokens some grimoire tokens we're actually about to use this right now so we can get a pretty good grimoire you get about 40 of those but i've already purchased all the game passes you guys can see i spent all this robux here if you look at my mouse cursor robux spent 10,000. i've been playing this count for about 30 minutes so if you haven't played anime fighters in a while i mean all you really got to do is just kill the enemies collect the yen get to the next map and if you've been playing for a while you about to see f minus get to the last map real quick on a brand new account we about to make it fun for you guys i'm gonna go into the time chamber right now and we're gonna spend 
those grimoire tokens that we got from the codes like i said this is just using all the codes i also redeemed or verified my uh youtube account here and i did a couple of other things to get extra stuff in the game all right so we are in the time chamber this is where you guys are going to stay if you want to like limit break your fighters uh if you want to try to i don't know clone your units there's some clone machines in the game if you guys forgot like i said i'll talk about everything even if you're a veteran player here's the incubator machine it says unlock steel ball island so how many incubators do i have available i have no incubators i can't use any of them what kind of passive reroll tokens do i have I have 115 regular and I have 35 Requiem. So I guess we're gonna start using like a strong unit. Maybe I could try to like power level my VIP unit that I have here. This is my strongest unit, by the way. He's level one, but he's doing 140 damage. And I have auto clicker. We got a lot of stuff. We're stacked together. Here's some Grimoires. So like I said, I used all the codes and we have 40 of these tokens. Now, the better the Grimoire, the more damage you do. This is basically like a damage boost, a free damage boost. I mean, let's just go ahead and reroll. What the f what's the first one? Nuts, Headcracker, Grimoire. So this one will give us 1.5x damage or 0.5x. It's basically 1.5x. Every five seconds it attacks and you get a base damage of whatever that is. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Try to get something a little bit better. Fire. So I think we're going to try to go for the rare one. Anti-Magic, Aura... Let's see if we can get that. We got Wind. We got Mercury. I feel like that's kind of lucky. What does Mercury do? 50%. All right, we don't want that. <laughs> Let's keep going. We got Mercury again. Okay. Light Grimoire. I want to try to get any of like the 20% ones. These are 25%. I mean, hey, there it is. Candy Cane Grimoire. Oh, damn. Yo. Okay. There you guys go. We got the best Grimoire in the game already. Brand new account. Um, this will give us two times damage and uh it says it's a rarity of mythical so like i said grimoires is just extra damage boost in the game as soon as you guys start anime fighters you're restarting your comeback to the game just go to this machine here and then just go ahead and spin on it the rest of these machines i don't think i have to worry about them for now i'm gonna start killing some enemies we also have the winter island as well and you know what we can actually speed up the process in this uh noob to pro if you want to call it that we go to the winter island we automatically get a character that's level 200 insane level 200 already off the bat so if you are a brand new player to anime fighters you just go to the winter event while it's still active you know redeem all the codes get your grimoire inside of that time chamber and then you know purchase some game passes if you want and now you are ready to go to start playing anime fighters so i guess we'll equip our best three fighters right here equipped three out of six so if we uh, kill Armored Force, we should get uh, some Yen. Yeah, we did. And we have 30,000 on the left side of the screen. And then we're going to open the portal or the door to the next world. And we're going to really try our best to get to the last world today. Last world, there's like, what, 56 worlds? 50 or 60 worlds? There's a lot. So we got a lot of ground to cover. However, we do have these boosts in the game to help us out. Super damage, we're definitely going to use that. What else are we going to use? Get some better fighters, maybe? You know, get a little bit stronger. Super luck boost. I can use that right now. And then, I don't know if there's a... Oh, right here. Super yen boost. Whenever I use these super boosts, I get 30 minutes. Pretty good. There you go. See? Take a look at that. All right. Let's go to Crazy Town. You already know. We're already on Crazy Town. Cool. So, do I have auto clicker turned on? And it says right there, my mouse cursor auto clicker is on so you have the boss right here we just tapped him out as soon as we kill him we can go to the next island fruit island so you can already kind of see anime fighters in 2024 use all the codes maybe have some game passes and stuff it's really easy definitely one of the easiest simulators to play on roblox at least anime simulators here's another enemy domino we just killed him and on the left side of the screen we have 11 million I can already go to the attack on titan map that's crazy and then we're gonna have like a boss here we'll see if we can one shot him with our sakura she's level 200 super overpowered seriously look at that we have 78 million my gosh y'all that's how easy it is you don't need the best fighters in the game just go to the winter event claim the sakura and then just start attacking the enemies look at that we already have enough to go to tokyo ghoul we have skipped so many maps 
and literally we've only been playing for like what i think 30 minutes now yeah you see my mouse cursor right there playtime 38 minutes here's the next enemy we already have 488 million i guess we can kill one more enemy take that yen nice now we have enough for chimera jungle so let's head to chimera jungle now this is a pretty important machine here we have a shiny machine i don't know if i have enough fruit to make our soccer a shiny make her a little bit stronger Ooh, i do have four fruit that is an 18 percent chance yeah i'm not feeling that look i'm just gonna go ahead and kill the bosses it's still a one shot and it should still be a one shot for at least a decent while i just need to get two billion yen as you can see on the left side of the screen there we go now we have enough to get to virtual castle that'll be sword art online so far so good i mean we're not running into any kind of trouble here we're just zooming through all the maps and this will be my strategy until we make it as far as we can with our level 200 fighter when it starts to get slow killing the bosses it's no longer like a one hit ko then we're gonna start using shiny potions these right here i have 44 just using the codes and I'm gonna go buy some units, resell the units, and because it's a shiny unit, we're gonna get extra yen. And that's how we're gonna open up these doors, get to the last map. Hey, it don't get any easier than that. Seriously, it really doesn't get any easier than that. We're already on Jujutsu Kaisen, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I still have level one fighters. I'm still using Krillin. I'm still using my VIP. And then I'm still using Sakura level 200. I'm not sure how much longer we can go with this one hit KO. Hey, I'll take it though. This is a little too easy. Here we go, XYZ Metropolis. Let's go to the next world. Now we're on the One Punch Man map. We got the vitamin hero there we just took him out we got some enemies there we just killed them looks like we need about 300 billion to get to nine crimes island we should be able to kill that vitamin demon one more time there we go now we have enough yen we're gonna go to the next map that's what i'm talking about like i said this is how easy it is in 2024 as long as you use the codes maybe you buy some game passes you know what you're doing so as you notice when i'm killing these enemies it's no longer a one shot on nine crimes island it does take a little bit of time i do have auto clicker but i'm just showing you like it's taking like one second two seconds to kill these enemies pretty soon in the next one or two worlds it might start taking 30 seconds maybe like 10 seconds to kill the enemy then we're gonna start needing to use like the shiny potions and stuff so that we can get yen faster i really want to get to the last map as fast as possible because the level of those units from the last map is going to be so much higher than the earlier maps and when i get those like um almost max level units level like what 500 or something i can do time trial get all of the achievements here all of the extra equips and that's how i'm going to be stronger in anime fighters so we're already here on the i don't know what this is oh my gosh look at that Ooh, it's gonna be kind of tough we have 7.5 trillion but i mean it's still doable we can still kill these enemies we might do a defense mode as well uh we do have a bunch of events at the bottom right of the screen 6x time six drops six luck events so if i do a defense mode right here and you know i try to get those max open tokens it's gonna be a lot easier for us to hit that last map because right now i feel like we're struggling just a little bit i'm gonna try to kill this guy oh uh, yeah i don't know about that so now what do we do we go to the luck star here i'm gonna open up a couple times we're gonna get all that extra all those extra fighters dang that's what i'm talking about how how strong are these fighters what level are they so we have a uh, asta here level 154 okay we have shell 152 I'm going to unequip everything except for our Sakura and then I'm going to sell everything else. Let's see how much money we get. On the left side of the screen, we have 15 trillion. So that's the technique we're going to start using now. Maybe we'll do a defense mode. I'm going to auto sell everything basically. And then uh, we're just going to get as much money as we can, get to the next map, take those fighters from the next map. And then after that, we're going to come back here to this map and then open up defense mode. Get some max open tokens shiny potion our way all the way to the last map we're gonna cheese it y'all instead of you know trying to kill enemies because that's how easy anime fighters is in 2024 look at that we already have 20 trillion 
here is the land of alchemy we're gonna go ahead and open it up so now that we're in the land of alchemy it's getting tough to kill enemies i'm gonna go for the epic and legendaries right and we're just gonna open up here until we get some really good fighters Ooh, is that all the money f minus has Ooh, come on sell it sell it let's get some more fighters we really need to get more fighters uh stronger ones at least so that we're gonna be prepared to do this defense mode when i get some fighters we'll go cut to the next scene here we go we have some fighters these are not really level 200 but they're 162 they're shiny they're doing more damage so we're coming back to this map to get some defense token or uh some max open token and the reason we're doing this is because max open tokens will allow us to hatch faster the faster we hatch the faster we can sell those shiny units for more money and it's gonna be way faster than trying to kill the enemies the old fashioned way, which is clicking and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our auto attack. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and use, I don't remember if it's yen or drops that affects the max open tokens. I'm pretty sure it's drops, but I have a yen boost going on just in case it's for yen. And then after that, I don't think there's any other boost we need to use. We pretty much activated everything in the game so far. That's what I'm saying. Like you already know, anime fighters in 2024. I think at least it's fun if you're a brand new account. It's so easy to progress in the game. I mean, it, it took five minutes, maybe 10 minutes to get to map 17. That's like not halfway, but I mean about 25% of the way. If you think about it, maybe only 30 minutes you can get to the last map. You have all the game passes and stuff. At least that's what we're trying to do. Like I said, as fast as possible. Here we go. We have started our first defense mode. We don't have to do the entire defense mode. I just need to get some of these, these max open tokens at the bottom of the screen. And there is a drops event. 6x drops event bottom right of the screen. It's great that they activated it. That just basically means I just get a couple of these tokens and I just keep, you know, auto auto selling everything. Shiny potion resell method. And then we'll be good to go. And I, I think this should be enough. I mean, we already have on the left side of the screen 1.58 billion. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport right now back to the newest map that we're on, Land of Alchemy. And let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Land of Alchemy. So like I said, we're just going to max open. How many max open tokens it costs? 79.5 million. Not that bad, but we do need a little bit more yen, about 155 trillion. It's just, look at this. Hunger, look at how much, look at how hard it is to kill us. And we have that Candy, Crane, uh, Candy King Grimoire. So that was helping us out a lot. Um, it looks like this is taking a little bit too long. We're going to go back to Lucky Kingdom. And then we're going to go ahead and max open, sell everything we get. And now we have enough to max open on Land of Alts. Perfect. We're going to max open two times here. Try to get as much yen as we can. There's the first. Oh, we actually pulled a secret. That is incredible. Look at that. Woo. First secret in the game. Shiny secret. <laughs> That's crazy. We're getting lucky. I mean, how much luck do we have? If you look at the bottom right of the screen, we have 16 luck. 16 luck is more than enough to pull secrets fairly easily. Divines, a little bit tougher, but you can definitely pull secrets. And we're going to claim our upgrades in the game. Make sure you guys are always claiming them. I'm getting 10% damage there. Inventory space. There's a lot of stuff you can get. Now we're going to go to Slimy Island. Perfect. Hey, we've made it here. Hey, we're just going to go ahead and skip to the next map. Now we're on Flame City. Amazing. Can we get to the next map after? No, we're just a little short on yet. Can we max open here? We can. Ooh, maybe every single map I open, I should max open twice. Just in case, get a little extra yen. Here's the first max open. Perfect. And we're going to max open again. It's on cooldown. But luckily, there's a time event. So it's a lot faster. So it's costing about almost 200 million of these max open tokens. Um, but look at that. We have 1.21 billion. Here's the second open. And we got a bunch of legendaries. Perfect. Go to the next map. We should have enough to unlock at least two more. Yeah, Divine Coliseum 1Q. But remember what I said. We got to open up at least twice. Ooh, we're running low on max open tokens. We're going to need to do a defense mode pretty soon. And taking a look at the map here. Looks like there's a defense mode in Divine Coliseum. So that's going to be perfect for us. We're going to max open again. Let's take a look at it. All right, perfect. And I think we have enough yen to go to uh, the next map. So we're going to see if we can. It looks like Kingdom of Four, 3Q. Perfect. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then the map after that, Icy Waste, 10Q. I do not have 10Q, but what I can do is uh, go ahead and spin for some stronger fighters. Maybe some epics, legendaries, and do defense mode 
we get more max open tokens whatever you you just saw there when i max open like my inventory my my big backpack that i have to 1000 units right there on the left side then we can go ahead and get way more money a lot faster let me go ahead and open up i'll see you guys in defense all right here we are in defense mode how is our progress so far since we popped those super boosts it's only been 13 minutes 13 minutes and i know we got the game passes but like i said the video is about how anime fighters is in 2024 and it's really easy to progress in this game incredibly easy and our soccer is actually weaker there we got ice cold right there level 201 470 billion damage we're getting kind of strong but the goal like i said we need we need to make it to the last map the fighters there are really powerful i get them shiny and then we could do time trial finish as much as we can in terms of upgrades from time trial maybe a little infinity tower maybe we farm you know like like some passes we clone them a little bit i do have a bunch of clone tokens look at that i got 10 just from all the codes i can get some really good passes put them on my units i will be incredibly powerful in this video let's see let's see this right here though we got lower deity cool we got a bunch of max open tokens nice two billion on the left side of the screen this guy is really tough to kill upper deity 375 trillion hp but that's okay let's go ahead and get all that Woo, 12 billion i think we're good let's go back to kingdom of four so in the kingdom of four we have a merchant that gives us a free boost let's go ahead and claim that you see we get a super luck boost maybe that'll help us out a little bit later but so far we're doing pretty good um, I don't know if I can max open here. Let me see if I can. 12Q, I do not have enough. So I'm going to go back one map to Divine Coliseum. And all I'm going to do is just go ahead and max open two times. That's the first time. Perfect. And I think I actually got to go to my inventory, sell these units I don't. And I got to turn on auto sell again. So we got auto sell for everything except for the mythicals. Perfect. Here's the second max open. Let's go get it. Oh, we got a bunch of mythicals there and a bunch of yen. Now we're ready to go to Kingdom of Four. But remember what I said, we got to max open twice, just get a little extra. So it looks like it's only going to cost 1.65 billion of these max open tokens. That's the first time. And here is going to be the second max open. Let's go ahead and do it right here. I don't expect us to get a secret, but if we do, it'd be great. Nope, just a bunch of legendaries. Now we're ready to go to Icy Waste. Perfect. And then after Icy Waste... We're just going to see if we can max open here. Can we? We can do it about two times, I think. Maybe. We're going to go in and check it out. And I think... Do we have enough? Let's go see. Here's the next max open. Yes. Just barely have enough. Perfect. Now we have 327Q on the left side of the screen. Plus, we have another damage. 15% damage. I'll take it just to get a little extra stronger in anime fighters. So now we're on Chainsaw World. Cool. We can make it to Psychic City as well. Dang, that's how you guys do it. Psychic City, is there a defense mode here? There is. Can I make it to the next map? Ah, oh, I can't. 270Q. So we got to take the fighters from this map. And these fighters are going to be a little weak uh, compared to the enemies in that defense mode that we're about to do in Psychic City. But we'll try to make do. All I'm going to do is max. Okay, we can't max. We're just going to open a couple times. Try to get some rares and stuff. Try to see if we can get some better fighters. Equip our best. Sell everything we don't need. Perfect. Come on, what do we got? Commons? Come on. No, 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 no. We got 16 luck in the game. 16 luck. We should definitely be able to pull some rares. Come on. Let's go get it. Can we get something better than commons? Mm, can we get something better? Oh, we got an epic. Nice. We also got some rares. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's just equip everything that's that's just good. And then sell everything we don't need. And then we're going to go to auto sell everything, legendaries included. We're going to start defense mode again. Let's go inside and get these tokens. All right, here we go. We're starting defense mode in Psychic City. So far, our progress is pretty good. World 24, maybe about halfway through the entire game evil spirits here oh damn we got about 69 billion of these max open tokens nice damage boost is really helping us out a lot i think i'm gonna turn off auto attack looks like some of our units are glitching out attacking the enemies behind looks like we got 200 billion so far let's go kill the next enemy come on before they reach our base and if they do reach our base no issue at all we have a bunch of hp we can tank it can you kill the evil spirit though yeah i think you can cool there we go see that's all you gotta do this is easy anime fighters in 2024 y'all codes helping us out like crazy plus the events 
that's just how easy it gets we're gonna turn off auto sell again and then we are going actually we're gonna turn on auto sell we're gonna keep it we're gonna sell everything we don't need i'm gonna max open two times oh i don't have enough yen no we're got we gotta go to the underworld y'all so we're gonna go to underworld we're gonna max open two times here's the first time nice we got some mythicals over there cool and this is gonna be the second time let's go ahead and max open and i'm gonna go to psychic city right now and we're gonna max open here so here's the esper star let's go ahead and max open let's see if we get anything good can we get a secret we got a bunch of legendaries no trouble at all we're gonna max open twice here's the second time we should have enough money and there it is we now have on the left side of the screen 3e we're going to the hole now one of my favorite maps in the game whose hole die Reb's hole that's right here's the violent star if you see it right here this is gonna cost 40 billion max open token no trouble at all we have 400 billion max open token. so we're doing so we're doing pretty good so far i would say and here's the next max open perfect i think we're ready to go on to the next map we're now on ninja city nice yes we're making amazing progress that's how you do it, anime fighters. We're about to beat this entire game in one hour. That's it. That's how easy it is in, uh, I guess, 2024. I don't think you could do that in other anime simulator games on Roblox. So, but if you do, let me know in the comments. Here's the next open. 86 billion. We might be able to do this like, I think like three, maybe four four times that's it here is the next open and then i think we're just gonna head to the next map after we got a mythical there we're gonna go to time travel tokyo all right and then after that ooh, orca road prison oh we don't know i don't know if we have enough money for that oh we're not using shiny potion oh we kind of wasted that we have enough 12 e no we don't so we gotta go back down one map i made a mistake accidentally we didn't have a shiny potion when you have shiny units they do sell for more than non-shiny units. So let's take a look here. I don't even have enough to max open. Man, we gotta go back to the hole. Oh well, you know what? It happens sometimes. Let's go ahead and max open here. There we go. Now we got a bunch of yet. Now I can go back to Ninja City. We should be able to do it twice. Let's go max open here. This is the first one. All right, there we go. We got a little bit of money. Now, I don't know if I have enough max open tokens though. I can max open, but I mean, we'll see. Ah, uh, we don't even have enough to max open here. That's what I'm saying, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. What about Time Tower of Tokyo? Do we have enough to get to the next map? We do. Orca Road Prison. Perfect. Let's go to Orca Road Prison. I think there is a defense mode in this map, too. Yeah, there is. Oh, I think we're out of defense tokens. No, that's okay. All you got to do is farm some time trial shards. So I'm going to head to time trial right now. All right. So this is uh, the challenge hub. In the challenge hub, there's a bunch of... I mean, there's like infinity tower there and a bunch of dungeons and like trials that you could do to get some extra things. I think that's godly actually on the left side. So if I'm able to kill some of the enemies and break the chest, I can get tower shards or time trial shards and I can use it to buy what I need is a defense token. So we're going to go to the trial shop and it looks like the defense token is 400 shards. That is a lot. So if I can't use the shiny potion, I mean, our only other thing that we can do is go back to Orca Road Prison and try to kill the enemy the old fashioned, which might be kind of difficult, but we'll definitely try our best. Uh, the best thing I can also do is open up a couple of times, try to get some stronger fighters. Ooh, we got a legendary there. Nice. Common. All right, let's keep going. We got some more commons. We're looking really for epics and legendaries. That'll be that'll make us a lot strong. We're going to equip our best units. I guess I'll send him out to attack the Bind Assassin, the Blind Assassin, and then we'll see how long it takes to kill him and how much Yen we get. I'm still using a Super Yen boost, a Damage boost. I'm using Damage Event. I'm taking advantage of everything in the game, but yeah, I don't know. I guess once you get to around this part, it gets kind of, it does get a little difficult. I ain't going to lie. Blind Assassin, I've been attacking him for maybe about 10, 15 seconds. I've only put him down about 10% HP, so this could take like a minute or two. But once we kill him, we'll see what happens. Or maybe I'll look for a different method to open the world of game. Woo, all right, we're clapping this out and we are finishing it up. That's right. It's maybe been about one hour, I want to say. Let's check the playtime. 
time yeah about one hour uh since the last part remember we were deciding like what to do defense mode and stuff like that and i think we were stuck on like the world games maybe like ninja city time travel tokyo well we've already progressed i think about 15 maps yeah we're now on the land of wanzo and we only have like maybe 10 or 15 maps left to go in the game pretty easy all i've been doing is the method where you guys buy low and sell high when I say buy low, I mean you buy the fighters at the low price and you resell them using shiny potions. So anime fighters, like I've been saying before, the game is really easy. If you redeem the codes, you get a bunch of shiny boost and then you get the fighters, resell them at a higher price because shiny units are worth more. Now we're almost on Slayer's Forest. We got a bunch of units already. Remember, we started off with Sakura. Now we have Okaku level 373 almost twice the level and that's all i've been doing i've also done a time trial i have 326 time trial shards it's pretty good i have two achievements i need to claim right here so we got extra star one plus we have extra equip one so it's really important to do time trial i'm gonna check right now to see if one of the time trials are open that way we can get a defense token because that's why i did time trial we get a defense token the progress will be a lot faster it's just you know we've been testing a little bit of this a little bit of that out uh, we might try to do ultimate time trial. I'm not sure if I can kill any of the enemies in here, but it's worth a shot. Let's go see how difficult it is. And if it's a little too difficult, all I'm going to do is go back to the latest map I'm on, the land of Wanzo, spin on the star, take all that extra money, open the next map. I can't max open, but I can open regularly. And I have about two hours of shiny boost running at the bottom left of the screen. So this is going to be perfect for us. Here we go, y'all. Um, got some enemies. Oh, yeah, look at that. We can definitely kill them. I'm not even using a super damage boost. There it is right there. We just popped the super damage boost. Now we're going to be doing more damage to the enemies. Plus, we get Yen. Make sure you guys are using boost in the game. Take advantage of the in-game events. And that's going to be our first treasure chest for the video. It has 5Z HP. And if I break that, oh, yeah, we have 47 time trial shards. Now, I forgot to use a super drop boost. Definitely make sure you guys are using one. You get more time trial shards. The more defense tokens you guys can buy, the faster you guys will be able to make it to the last map so that you'll have a bunch of these time trial shards. That's my method. That's my technique that I'm doing. I might go through the entire time trial, maybe, if I can. I don't believe I'm strong enough, though. I mean, I got, like, level 373 units, but I'm almost on the last map of the game. And literally, we only have about two hours of playtime. And this is just a brand new, fresh account, like I said. Anime Fighters compared to, like, other games on Roblox, it could take you days. Maybe it'll take you an entire day to get to the last map. This game will only take you a couple of hours as long as you guys have the right game passes. You don't need all the game passes, like F-, minus, but you have, you know, the, the right ones, like Auto Clicker, Auto Attack, Extra Equip, maybe, like, Fast Open. You guys will be good to go because all the codes that'll help you out, they'll use the events. Oh, you're good. Look at that. At the bottom of the screen, we just got 100 time trial shards. We should be able to do defense mode, and I might AFK for about a couple minutes inside the defense mode. I really want to finish this up in the next maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going to go for about 800 time trial shards if possible. We just got to break about two more chests, I want to say. And if we make it to room 20, that's going to be great as well. Hey, oh my god, look at that. We got incredible luck. We just got two chests. That's perfect for us. We don't even have a drop team, but now we have 673 time trial shards. That's going to bring us one step closer to our goal of, uh, you know, completing anime fighters in 2024 on a brand new fresh account. Make sure y'all are using my code. I gave it to you earlier. Sub to F minus my. It still works. You guys can get yourself two shiny potions and do the same thing that f minus is doing you guys will have a great time at it all right here we go we're about to finish it up we just found two treasure chests inside this time trial look at that and that's the first chest and we'll probably get about 50 maybe 100 time trial shards we got 81 80 of them and i think we have 768 as soon as we break this chest we should be good i'm gonna buy two defense tokens and hopefully that is enough to take us to the last map uh yeah take a look at that right there we have 80 shards you guys could also do the quest in the game you guys will get a mount that allows you to, I guess, go faster. You can move around faster, but you do not have to do. So we do have to look for a defense mode. That's one thing we really have to do. So the abyss, it looks like. We're going to have to go back to that map. So I guess we can go ahead and try to get some fighters from the land of Wanzo that we're currently in. And we try to get something a little bit better. So let's go ahead and open up. Dang. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. I'll leave it like this for maybe about one or two minutes. 
I just want a full team of like epics, rares, and they're gonna be shiny. It'll be really good for us, and we'll do more damage. We can clear defense mode easier, take all the defense tokens, those max open tokens from defense mode, and then come back to land one. So we'll open up, and then we'll be super OP. All right, here we go. I've started defense mode in the Maiden Abyss map. Now, you can notice that's on world 36. The next defense mode is going to be, it looks like, on this world, which is basically like world 45, maybe. So we got to get to the next seven worlds using just this defense mode. The lower the defense mode, the lower amount of max open tokens I'm going to get. So this is going to be pretty difficult. I'm just going to AFK in here until maybe the entire thing is finished. Um, I'm still using a super drops boost. I do have fighters from the newest map. I mean, they're pushing 370, 270e uh, damage. So this should be enough. I can go ahead and test it out though. I'm using a damage boost as well. There it is, wave start. You guys ready for the next defense? Ooh, what is that? All right, so it is a little easy to kill these guys. I mean, you can see my tokens on the left side of the screen. We got 13Q. And then if I just run through this, I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but these enemies are really easy to kill. And I know for a fact, if I leave right now, I might only make it to like two more maps. And we gotta get through like at least so seven maps. We gotta get to this world. Oh, it's gonna be so difficult. So I'm just gonna AFK here. I'll come back to you guys whenever I farm enough max open tokens and I complete this defense mode. It might only take five or 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. We completed the defense mode. You can see at the very bottom, we have 236Q max open tokens. So we have a ton. I don't see any trouble for us, or at least for the next maybe three or four maps. Um, I will definitely try to make it as far as we can. The next max open. Oh my God, really? Nine Y? That's... That's expensive. <laughs> we gotta go back to the land of Wanzo, open up maybe like two more times here, but I have a lot of these max open tokens, a lot. We need nine Y. We're still using a shiny boost potion, which is perfect. Hopefully this is enough to take us to the last map. We need nine Y, perfect. We have 10 on the left side. So all we're gonna do is go to Slayer's Forest and then we'll open up maybe, I guess we have to do like four opens or something like that. Here's the next open. All right, a bunch of legendary Mitsuris. Now we have 33 Y. It's actually enough to go to the next map, but I need to be able to max open on the next map, and I need yen for that. Now we have 56 Y. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Let's go see how many open tokens I have. 229, it takes about 2 Q, so about 1% of my tokens for a max open. Here's the thousand year war. Let's go open up the door, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. All I'm gonna do is just max open. Perfect for us. Maybe I should have enough to get to the next map. Let's go take a look at it. Martial arts world, we went ahead and purchased it. I will max open one final final time on this map come on big money there we go we have 168y and you know what just in case i'm gonna max open one final time there you guys go we should have enough i really am praying we have enough to get to the next defense but we'll find out real soon sorcerer's world is 150y we're gonna go to the combat star over here we're gonna see if we can max open yep we still have a ton of tokens i think we're good to go still uh, do we have enough to get to the next world? Yeah, we have more than enough. All right, let's just open up twice. That should be good, right? You already know we're cashing out today, y'all. We are cashing out today. There we go. We just went to Sorcerer's World. This game is a little too easy. But we have covered a lot of things in the video, except a lot of the features. We covered, like, you know, trying to get to the last map, but, you know, we haven't crafted anything. These are good if you can't get secrets or divine units. Divine units, really, really powerful. We can try to get some for the video. Like I said, we're doing everything. Here's the Jujutsu Kaisen star, though. I don't have enough net. No! <laughs> we don't have enough yet. We're going to go back to martial arts world. We will open up twice and then we're gonna see how many tokens we have it looks like 16 so it, it takes about 10 percent 10 percent of our total tokens uh just for one max open the next defense world is oh it's this world actually perfect there you go all we gotta do is just get the fighters from the next couple of maps and then come back down here because the fighters from the higher worlds they are stronger perfect here we go anime hey we're doing what i still don't have enough how much is it 3x wow that is expensive the amount of max opens you need is getting really 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 expensive here's the next open we need 3x so i gotta actually open up like uh i'm guessing like three more times or something but that's all right and you know what i'm gonna use a super time boost super time boost so we have less of a max open cooldown we can open this a lot faster let's go see yep there it is the cooldown has already reset we need 3x do we have enough no we still don't have enough that's crazy 
we might not even have enough max open tokens uh, to open up on the next map, like just once. Each. But we're gonna try it out. We're gonna go to Sorcerer's World. Now we're here. We're gonna. Can we max open one? E we don't even have enough tokens. There you guys go. We don't have enough tokens. That's crazy. Let's go to the next world though. Mystic Island 450Y. All right, there you go. Hey, <laughs> we cashing out today, baby. So the next world after that is gonna be Steel Ball Island at 1.3x perfect for us we're just gonna go ahead and purchase it we still have a couple of worlds to go and the next world is 5x magic con i think we're really close to the end though we probably have uh, <laughs> never mind we got about 10 more worlds but that's okay all i'm gonna do now is get some epic and legendary units and then we're gonna do another defense mode we have and hopefully that's the last defense mode we have to do for the video because these defense modes man i'm gonna be telling you right now <laughs> i'm getting kind of bored of it and if you try to do it this way where you just open up the units they're shiny and you auto sell them uh because it takes so much yen now to get to the next world uh yeah i'm not really oh wait do we have enough hey we have enough what <laughs> maybe we just had extra so the next world after that is 15x let's go ahead and take a look at it um no way why is it so cheap unless something's like going <laughs> i guess they just priced it really really cheap we're just blasting through all this the next one is 50x only it should cost way more look at that i just bought and resold one unit two unit and we already had enough to go to useless isekai that's crazy let's go keep trying to do it though here's one here's you know a couple more there you go now we're getting a little extra yen now we're on useless is isekai i guess we don't have to do any more defense modes we should be good i mean as long as i could buy and you know sell one unit we should have enough and let's take a look at the next world we need 900 we already have enough there you go all right we're about to beat anime fighters y'all no defense mode needed that's how y'all do it that's what i'm talking about i really thought we had to do another defense mode but i guess we're just gonna keep on opening up and you know just get to the last map 2.99 w haunted battlegrounds oh yeah we're getting to the last map now we're definitely getting to the last map this is how easy it is in anime fighters nowadays yeah it wasn't like this before you would spend days just on one map but now it's a lot faster so we need 9.9 w to get to the next map i guess we go to the castle star here and then we just keep opening up on one uh, unit but yeah i did not know the price of the portals the doors to the next world is so much cheaper than the early game the mid game it would take me defense mode to do it here i could just buy and sell one unit and we're good to go i really i'm surprised they they like price that out different here's the next world uh we got demon and sekai after this so i guess we can just go to demon and sekai and i think we only have damn we have, we still have a bunch of that's crazy how we still have a lot of like work to do and stuff here's demon and sekai we're gonna open it up we get to the next world after that viking saga omo we should be really really close now maybe five worlds so i'm gonna open up maybe like one time here you know spin a couple of times we gotta get some extra money there we go four stars there we go seven star we're gonna keep opening up oh yeah we're about to be super op we could take a detour we've already opened our first secret for the video what about a divine you guys think we could do that the strongest or well the third strongest rarity now before evolution units and heavenly units I don't think we can get heavily units, but I mean, we're doing well so far. There's Corrupt City. After Corrupt City, it should be Eagle Zone, right? No, we still have a bunch of worlds. That's crazy. Where's Eagle Zone? Eagle Zone's the one that, uh, oh, there it is, Eagle Zone. So I think we can make it to Eagle Zone. Um, I will purchase that, but I do want to go ahead and make a little bit of extra money right here. Let's open up a couple times. There we go. Nice. Let's open up again. That's two. That's three. Here we go, that's six, and there it is, seven. Ego Zone should be the second to last, I think. There should be another world after this. Yeah, Hunter's Classroom. That's Assassination Classroom, and that's the latest world and the newest update. And there you go, we have made it to the last map. This is the last map in the game. This should be your guys' goal if you're playing Anime Fighters brand new accounts. Now, it does say I have two portals that are still locked. Not sure what those are. However, we do have two portals that are locked still. But this is the newest map. These are where the strongest fighters come from. Now, you could try to make your crafted units. Now, you guys could try to get, I don't know, the divine unit, the secret unit. There's actually some people here. Auntie Susan. And then we have Ken JBRO. I think Auntie Susan's one of my friends, actually. If you're watching this video, hey, shout out to you. So we're going to open up a couple times here. And all I'm going to do is just auto sell everything except the epic, legendary, and mythicals. We'll take the best and strongest seven units that we can hatch. 
and then we're gonna take that maybe into time trial and we'll see how far we can go with just these units maybe i'll try to max out my incubator fastest way to level in this game your fighters are incubators incubators are definitely what you guys want to use so let's see what happens here we go i have a full team of renakas all of them level 540 but if you remember the max level in the game is 630 with double protagonist i don't know if i can get double protagonist right now but i can definitely try to max level these hopefully so we get more damage i could do a defense mode i can start max opening get some mythics you know repeat the process once i get the mythics i turn it to the secrets and then we upgrade from the secrets to the divines maybe a crafted unit we'll go from there we'll see what happens but this is the incubator i feel like i have enough money to like try to max this out and if i can't max it out i definitely need to do my achievements in the game these upgrades here definitely gonna help us out these upgrades will allow us to get higher incubator levels so we level up faster um there's at least a couple of them somewhere around here i have to do like dungeons and stuff maybe infinity tower maybe reach a certain time trial i think but if i scroll down a little bit more let's see hardcore license i don't think we're doing that today all right there it is winter collector so if you guys unlock all the fighters from winter 2023 you get five incubator levels the higher your incubator level the faster you level up so we're gonna try to get this as high as possible until we run out of money and if we need more money, I'll just go back to the newest map, um, open up a couple times, and then we'll see what happens. But you can see on the left side of the screen, whoo, it's starting to cost a little bit of money <laughs> to do this. Oh my goodness. Uh, just opening or <laughs> leveling it up once is really expensive. Maybe we'll do another time. Okay, so there it is. Max level 305. So I want to know if you have a 305 incubator, fresh account, you're trying to level up your units, right? Because you want to be stronger. Whatever this unit is, I don't know if it's like a rare, epic, or something like that, legendary, but I can check real quick. Here's the Hunter's Classroom. It looks like she's the epic. 560 damage. It's all right. So we go to the Incubator. We take our Renaka. And actually, now that I think about it, whenever you level up shiny units, they take longer to level up. So it'd be smarter to do a non-shiny, but I just want to see how fast it is to level up. So I'm going to go ahead and incubate that. We can see 574, 577. Perfect. There you guys go. That's how you get extra damage. And I can go even further. I can use... I'm still using a time potion, actually. We don't have any EXP avatars to equip. So I think this is the max that we can go for this unit. And I guess we can go ahead and... I mean, we can just go ahead and let her level up. There's no reason not to. And then I can level up the rest of my units. The higher the level of my units, like I said, the more damage we do, the faster we can clear defense mode, the faster we can clear these time trials. And that's how we're really going to get stronger in the game. So let me go ahead and level up these incubators, level up my units, then I'll come back to you. Okay, I changed our mind. We're going to focus on a different tactic for this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make one really strong unit, just like my main account. And we're going to have a bunch of support units like leader three. And I think that's going to be a lot easier for us. Maybe going to be easier for you guys if you're playing anime fighters. You see, she's level 609 right now, starting to slow down. 610, though, is the max level in the game if you don't have protagonist. I don't have protagonist yet, so 610 is going to be perfect for us. Should do a lot of damage. Maybe I can run in time trial now. But we're going to go ahead and wait a couple more seconds until she finishes. And then hopefully she's really, really strong. I'm praying she's really strong because this is going to be my carry unit. I'm only taking one unit, and then we're going to get a bunch of leader three units. Leader 3 is a passive that'll make Rinaka a lot stronger. There it is, 610 max. That's easy. That's big money right there, y'all. So I'm going to equip my best. Or actually, we'll just take the strongest unit we have. This Rinaka here, 130W. Is 130W a lot? No, but it's good enough. You already know it's good enough. And we should be able to max open somewhere in like a lower level map. We do have a couple of tokens left. Um, and then we'll try to get some leader threes. Maybe like Psychic City or something. We do have a decent uh, backpack size. So it should be alright for us. And then the, I guess, legendary auto sell. We don't really need the mythics right now. We're just going to max open. Let's see if we get anything. Did we get any leader threes? We did not. However, I could go to the passive reroll machine. And then try to get leader threes that way. we're gonna see if we can open up a couple times try to get leader three if we don't no trouble no no not at all it's all good i'm just gonna get a passive on renaka she's not limit broken so i can't get two passes but that's all right and it doesn't look like we're getting anything that's okay we're gonna go to winter 2023 right now let's go to the passive machine this is gonna help us get in a lot like really really high damage but before we start using it 
we need to use the passive luck boost. And I can do Infinity Tower maybe a little bit later. It's just I'm, I need to get like stronger in the game right now before I do anything else. And that's our strongest unit, 130W. So I'm going to select her. And then we're just going to token reroll till we get something Winter Collector. We're really trying to go for like a Mythic Passive. We got Festive Breath. Um, so if we don't get a Mythic Passive, I'm just going to keep rerolling. So let's go select right here. We can go for Frostbite. Any of them is fine. It does not matter which one we get. If we get a secret passive that's incredibly lucky or a divine passive, you can see the chances here as well. Chance of getting a, a mythical passive is like 1 in maybe 100 chance. It's really not that bad. No artifact. Okay, there it is. Blizzard. <laughs> we already got Blizzard. I don't know if Blizzard gives us extra damage. Uh, 189W. This fighter hits hard and fast like a Blizzard. Alright, you already know we're going to go ahead and use that. That will be perfect for F-. minus. So all we're going to do now is, I guess, we would go either to Infinity Tower or one of the time trials. And then we would try to get some more upgrades in the game, extra equip. Maybe I can get Leader 3 at Perfect for us. Look at that. That is, I believe, Ultimate Time Trial, maybe? It's the one right before this one and the one right before that one and the one right before that one, which is Godly. But it's 8 seconds. We're going to go ahead and hop inside and then let's go ahead and solo it. It should be pretty easy, like really, really easy. But that's going to be our unit right there. I can go ahead and turn on the effects for you guys just so you can see how she looks. This is our coolest unit. Whoa, she got that aura. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Is it a one shot? It is a one shot from every. So not only am I going to farm Tom Charles shards, I can farm the defense tokens. And then we're going to go back to the newest map in the game. That's when we're going to get the mythical units. I'll try to go as far as I can, like I said, just for this video. Showing you the process from the beginning all the way to the end. So you guys also would know what to do. And you can see how easy Anime Fighters is in 2024. And I'm having fun with it. All right, we chilling. We just completed uh, this ultimate time trial. I think that's what it's called. And we're about to get the extra equip and more stars open. There you go, room 50. So we're going to go to our, or our achievements or upgrades right here. And we're just going to claim everything. Extra star, extra star, extra equip. That will help us out a lot. It's going to make us a little bit stronger because we have an extra equip, extra star. So we open faster because it's, it's a little difficult right now to max open in the game. Plus, I think we have a lot of time trial shards. We literally got a thousand. You guys can see my mouse cursor right there. We got quite a bit. It's perfect for us. I think so far we're doing really good in the game. Let me go use a super drop boost. I think we're going to purchase a damage boost as well because the defense mode is going to be a little tough and I need to be able to kill the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase one damage boost and then we're going to purchase one, two defense tokens. So we got two defense tokens. We're going to use that uh, right now and we're also using the super damage boost right now. We're going to go back to Hunter's Classroom and hopefully we can now kill some of the enemies. Uh, looking at it, I don't think we're going to kill the enemy. <laughs> this dude is really powerful. See, that's what happens. You got to work with what you got. Sometimes you'll be able to do it, sometimes you can't. So right now, we got to go to Haunted Battlegrounds, and we got to start a defense mode here because it's a little too difficult to kill the enemy in the newest map. But this is okay. I can still farm tokens here. It's just until we get some Mythics, Limit Broken, Max Talent, we farm a lot of fruit doing dungeons and stuff, which we definitely can do a dungeon for the video. I just need to get stronger, and we got to get more drop. I need to start making my drop team. There's a lot of work and a lot of things that you guys can do in anime fighters to become better. More drops, more luck, more damage. And we're focusing on damage right now. It's just going to be way better. Maybe we'll get lucky with this. This could be an extra boost for us. It could be one of the units. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a super luck boost is still good. I mean, it's all right. It's not bad at all. But yeah, this is our carry unit, 189W. I'm going to try to focus now on getting like seven support units stuff. All leader three, maybe something that gives us team damage. And then we'll stack this up, 189. I know right now it's an epic, but you never know. Pretty soon it's going to be a legendary. And then after that, a mythical. Maybe we'll go for the craftable or secret since they have similar damage. And then if we get lucky enough, we will go for a divine unit. Whoa. But we're definitely going to focus on limit breaking and stuff. All right. Defense mode has finally started. I want to see how difficult these enemies are to kill. It looks like I should be able to tap them out pretty. You can see on the left side of the screen, I have 400 and 40 z that's it wave two already one enemy <laughs> no way that's it one enemy don't tell me it's wave three already no way <laughs> 
it's either they're giving you a ton of tokens and this is just that easy or like bruh that's crazy wave four already my gosh he's gonna kill this dude i mean i could stay here until like wave five or six but like if it's just one enemy is this really a defense mode or maybe it's like glitch or something like that because this is a little too easy there we go we got some more max open tokens or i think they're called multi-open tokens so on the left side we got 1.62y We'll try to go for 2Y. Hopefully that's enough. I'm not sure if it is. There we go. We do have 2Y. I'm going to go down to the Ego Zone. Max open. Get a little extra money. And then we'll come back to the newest map. So we're going to go to the auto sell here. We'll sell everything we get. Can I even max open once? I can. Oh, I don't have enough yen though. Okay. What if I go to Corrupt City? Do I have enough yen to max open here? I should have at least a yen. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Perfect. There we go. We just max open once. Great. Now I'm going to max open again. Do you guys think that's enough yen now? That should be enough yen, I think. Now we go to the Ego Zone. Hopefully, like I said, we still have a lot of max open token. Here's the Ball Star. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. We just barely have enough. We're going to go and max open there. There we go. We've got a bunch of epics, some legendaries. Let's take a look at how many open tokens we have. Oh, this is expensive. But you know what? We do what we got to do, y'all. There we go. Now we have 20 KO. I really want to open at least once or twice on this Hunter's Classroom. The newest map is going to have the strongest units in terms of base damage. Classroom Star, can I open? Yes, I can open three times. Three times we have to get something really good. So I'm not going to auto. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep my legendaries and mythicals. But let's see if we get anything. Come on. Here's the first open. We really want to get mythicals. Ooh. Okay. We got two more opens left. Here's the next open. Come on. Dang. We just got a bunch of legendaries. Hey, legendaries are good. But I mean, I already have an epic that's max level. So we're going to go for the next open. Come on. Last open. Last open. Last open. There we go. We got uh, some more legendaries. Damn. That's okay though. And I think we pulled a leader three. Look at that, 25% team damage. So we should be able to stack that with Renaka. That's going to be perfect for us. It does not matter what level that guy is. It's just team damage is really going to make us strong. Everything else we don't need, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. And then right now we have 99k KO on the left side. So that's perfect for us, but we still need to get stronger in the game. I really need to get stronger. And I don't think I have enough damage to kill any enemies yet on this uh, newest map. At least I don't think we do. I mean, if I try to kill this guy, Takata, I mean, eventually I'll be able to kill him, but this is the amount of HP that the enemies have in the defense mode. So for right now, I mean, I still got to keep on running defense mode in the Haunted Battlegrounds. So if I really do want to get stronger in the game, I mean, I got to take like, ah, I could take that legendary unit and then we could try to do that. Um, but the base damage, let's go take a look at it. Base damage for Aruna is 840, 560. So it's not even double damage. It is a little bit higher, but I mean, we're going to need like 20x damage. 30x damage 40x damage to really get stronger in anime fighters so i think we're gonna have to maybe take a mythical unit from like a lower map or something and then we're gonna have to go off of that maybe we can't get the mythical right now from this map i mean we can it'll just take a little bit of time so what i'll do is let's go to let's say mm, what's our favorite mythic in the game eagle zone corrupt city eminence garden hot battlegrounds paranormal liberation my hero academia i definitely think we could pull the mythic here let me see do we have enough max open tokens yes we do so the base damage on this mythic is not going to be that low we are going only for the mythic though we can get the mythic that would help us out a lot i mean we have like 16 luck in the game and i can just keep max opening it's a 0.02 chance but i open like a thousand at a time there we go that is going to be our carry mythic now this right here titan girl we're going to make her really powerful because her base damage it doesn't show but her base damage is a lot higher so what i got to do now is we are going to go to the my hero academia map the other one the first one hero universe we're going to use the passive reroll machine we're gonna try to get like genius or something genius 2 genius 3 on titan girl so she's easier to level up because mythical units are pretty tough to level up uh it will be tough it might take like five or ten minutes instead of one go for genius 3 if we get lucky maybe we'll go for like oh we can go for diligent as well diligent might really help us out i completely forgot about that diligent 3 wow and then let's see what else we can go for maybe uh any of the secret passes sure i'll even take golden luck and then any of the divine passives in case we get lucky or something i'll use a passive luck potion we'll see what we get and i think this is good although i could change our method let's go to the time chamber instead we're not going to use regular tokens remember in the beginning of the video we had some codes that we used we have a bunch of uh requiem tokens look at that we got 35 that should be enough for us we'll use a passive luck potion 
we'll go ahead and take our titan girl selector auto reroll and now we're only going for like what genius two let's go for this three uh we don't want any of these maybe diligent i'll take that and then i guess any of the secret passives once again and then any of the divine passives it looks like you can still get any of the what is that you can get some of the secret passive light speed and crew leader nice Let's go ahead and start reroll. It shouldn't take long, and I don't think we're going to use all of our tokens. Um, there we go. We actually rolled off of a Prodigy I saw it there. I just forgot that Prodigy levels you up a lot faster as well. So now we're going to go to the Incubator. We're going to take our Titan Girl. We're going to put her in there, and then we're going to see how fast she levels up. 576, 591, 592. Do we have a Super Time Boost going? We do not. Let's use a Super Time Boost. I'll use two. Now she'll be a little bit faster. 596, 597. We're going to wait until she gets to 610. Once she gets to 610, then we're going to go and take our Leader 3 team, and then we'll go back inside a Challenge Hub, maybe Infinity Tower maybe we'll do dungeon i gotta start like i said getting stronger in the game but i really need to get leader three units so i gotta look for a map where i can max open you know reasonably pull some leader three maybe like steel ball island i feel like that's a high enough map and then let's go ahead and turn on auto sell it's already on we're gonna auto sell everything except once again leader three anything else that helps us you know get more team damage nothing really let's just max open now uh looks like we did not get any leader threes from that maybe we could try to go for leader two is that a thing will it let me let's see christmas leader if it gives us that leader two and then we're gonna max open again let's see if we get anything good yeah we got three units nice with leader i don't think it's gonna be as good as leader three but it's in a it's a step in the right direction there we go now we have six we can get a total of eight fighters we have to max open one more time here we go we're gonna get anything good yeah we got one perfect that's great that's all we needed now we're that much stronger y'all that's what I'm saying. It's all a process. Unequip everything. Let's take a look at the tally. So we got, what, leader two, 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 two. Uh, we got some leader threes and stuff. So we will equip this, this. Uh, what else do we got? We'll equip this one, this one, this one. Uh, we don't have a Christmas leader. We still have Blizzard. So we have five out of eight. Um, so we actually need to go back and get two more units. Two more units that have leader three or leader two and then i'll see you guys all right here we go back in the time chamber this is my leader team all of them are support units either leader two or leader three the team damage helping us out a lot yes i could make maybe a uh, full team of carry units however this is going to be the easiest for us and it'll give us similar damage maybe a little bit less but it's going to be similar i'm just waiting for it to get to 610 once you get 610 um, I could use a passive transfer uh, token and we could try to transfer off Blizzard from, I don't know though, Blizzard, I don't know which is the best winter passive from DPS. I really need to have higher, it's not DPC, uh, but DPS. Higher DPS because I really need to like start max opening on the newest map. That way we can limit break our fighters. We could try to make like, limit break is going to take a while, uh, but yeah, we have really done it. We literally started in Super Island. We passed through how many worlds? 55 worlds, guys. 55 worlds using just the codes and stuff. We did buy the game passes, but anime fighters, as I've said before, in 2024 is easy. And I've broken down pretty much everything. The only thing we could do left in the game is maybe go for Divine Unit. They're stronger, Heavenly Unit, Limit Break, Infuse. Maybe unlock the rest of our achievements. But this is it right here. We have reached the end game. I literally have a max level mythical unit with a mythical passive coming out real soon maybe you know there's some stuff we can unlock still but i mean for the most part we've done it y'all we really have done it let's go take a look here she's almost max level there now she's max level all i gotta do is just go ahead and take her and then we're gonna equip her that is gonna be our strong team now you can see her damage 240 w with no pass so she is stronger than the other uh unit that we have 189 w I guess it's not really that much more, but it is stronger. We can go back to Winter Island now and try to see if we can spin for, you know, a better passive. I don't know what kind of passive, but we'll try to go for a better passive if possible. Maybe we could try to go for Diligent, although it's going to be really hard to level up the unit. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. We already have one of the selected passes, okay. Uh, we are going to not go for, I mean, Blizzard. We don't really need Blizzard. So we're going to roll off of that and then let's see what happens. All right, here we go. We just started it. We uh, we have Ice Emperor. Ice Emperor, is that good? 490W. Ooh, this fire is an Emperor of Ice. Now, I don't know if that's good though. That sounds like a leader pass or something like that. I'm just going to reroll off of it. 
I mean, we have 100 tokens, so why not? Let's go token reroll. I want to try to go for, I don't know, like, I really want to get a Seeker Passive. I know we can't get one, but if we could, that'd be great. We got Reindeer. Let's see the damage, 490. This fighter has become a Reindeer, so I don't I don't notice a difference. It's still the same. A 490 W. Let's go roll off of it, try to get something a little bit, a little bit better. Let's see if we can. I mean, we got 100 tokens to blow. Let's see if we get anything. Elf Luck, Xmas. Come on, I know you want to give me the mythical passive. Maybe just give us a secret passive. I'll take the secret passive too. Or even a divine passive. Now we're really going to be strong in anime fighters. We got reindeer again. All right, let's go token reroll that. Um, And then we'll keep on rerolling. I mean, this is it. Oh, we got Yeti. Nice. Yeti should be pretty good. 490 W. It's still 490. What is going on? You know what? Let's take Titan Girl at 490. 490 W seems okay. Now, if I go to the Hunter's Classroom with my, I guess, support team, we equip our strongest. I mean, we got eight units right here, plus the leader passes, 12% team damage. Not much, but you know, it helps out a lot. We already got the super damage boost running. I mean, let's go see if we can start to kill this guy now. 1.1 KO, and then we can see our Mount Lady right there. Come on, Mount Lady. Yeah, see, now we're killing it a little bit fast. Not that much faster, but it does take a little bit of work, a little bit of time. The best thing I could do from right now is spin for two more Mount Lady and then Limit Breaker. Once I Limit Breaker, double passive, double talent. I mean, I could I could max out her talent right now too. I mean, we could go to the dungeon right now, get some extra fruit, and then, you know, go from there. And actually, I might want to try to do that right now. I think we have some dungeon tokens in our inventory. We do. So I'm going to configure the dungeon. Um, I don't think it matters which one we do, but insane is really tough. Large dungeon, I know we could definitely. I'm going to do a private dungeon right here. Let's go max out the talent on our mount lady and then prepare her for the limit break and then once we limit break her she'll be a little bit stronger i just want to see how difficult these enemies are in the large dungeon because farming dungeons is a part of the game you can get fruits in here you can get a bunch of fragments i do need to get some artifacts so i become stronger look at that. it's it's easy we're killing everything in one hit anime fighters in 2024 is pretty damn so let me look for a treasure chest room and then i'll come back to you i'm still running a drop boost we could also get a drop team but I don't want to make it right now. I really want to focus on getting Mount Lady as strong as possible. Maybe trying to break 1,000 though. She's at 490 right now. Ooh, all right. After about maybe 10 rooms, we have found our first treasure chest room. I don't believe we have to, you know, find more treasure chest rooms. As long as there's like two chests in here. I mean, my drops alone right now is 24x, and I don't even have a drops team. So we're already doing all right. Looks like there's only one chest, unfortunately. I just need to get some basic fruit and other stuff. It looks like we had a bunch of mythical fruit. That's great. I think we can deconvert that. Um, actually, we can use the mythical fruit right now because I have a mythical unit. <laughs> there we go. We're good to go. We're about to be really strong. Here's the talent machine. And all I'm going to do is take our Titan girl. Looks like we have... Uh, how many mythical fruit do we have? 190. Plus we have 8 divine fruits, 63 secret fruits. So that should be more than enough to max out Titan Girl. She's already kind of maxed technically though. So we're just going to upgrade her a little bit. Now she's doing, let's take a look, uh, 539W. So we did get a little bit stronger. However, like I said, if you really want to get stronger in anime fighters, you really got to complete all of your upgrades and achievements. We already did the ultimate. It doesn't look like Infinity Tower starting soon. Um, and then uh, all these other ones, they're not open yet. So, I mean, we've kind of maxed out for the video. I've done as much as I possibly can in about three hours. You guys see my playtime. Although we did start the video when it said 30 minutes. So, I mean, it, it took about a little bit more than two hours and we've made it to last map. I have a max level mythical, max level. Um, she's not limit broken, but I mean, I could limit break her. It's just, you know, it takes a little bit of time to limit break. I could, you know, get a time team and stuff like that. I can open up a little bit more. I'm just showing you guys, this is how Anime Fighters is in 2024. It is pretty easy. And if you enjoy it, you guys let me know as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.